so just finished the build of this and we have put all the electronics i will show you all everything how it is connected and the details and uh, everything is now set up to go and uh, do a test flight so let me show you uh, what all how what i have connected here so the two servos are mounted uh, on the wing panels and uh, they are connected with the push rod to the control horn the control horn is mounted so that the hole is on the hinge line so the control horn has to be mounted so that the hole is lined up on the hinge line and the servo location is such that the push rod makes a 90 degree with the uh, hinge line so this angle is 90 degrees approximately uh, we mount the servo so that they are as far forward as possible because uh, we want the maximum weight towards the nose the both the servos have to be symmetrical to each other so you measure this distance from the center and uh, they should be the same for both the servos um, ensure that both the control horns are lined up so that the hole is on the hinge line and the push rod is at a 90 degree and uh, on the servo we mount the uh, push rod linkage connector and uh, you have to adjust the tightness so that the rod does not slip and uh, yet the servo is free to move uh, both the servos are connected to the radio receiver and on channels 1 and 2 and the ESC is also connected to the radio receiver on channel 3 the ESC is connected to the motor through the three brushless motor wires in this build i am not used a connector and directly soldered the wires and the esc is connected to the battery with the gst connector here uh, in this build we have also put a fpv gear so we have taken a y from the battery power and powered the 3 in 1 camera um, which has the vtx and the camera and the antenna couple of things uh, which are very important is that on the elevons there should be no play so the hinges should be tied so that you when you if you move the tip of the elevon it should move the servo so it the elevon should not be such that you move it and it is free so when you move it the servo should move so there is no play a slop there for that the hinge has to be tight for that the hole has to be lined on the center line the control horn has to be glued in Uh, the servos have to be glued in tight and also the linkage connector has to be properly tightened because uh, there is very little throw required on the, the flying wings it is very important that there should be no slop on the elevons now let me show you uh, what we have done on our radio So on our radio we have set it so that uh, by the way I am a mode three flyer so my elevator and aileron is on my left stick for most of you it would be on your right stick so on in my case I am a left handed person sort of so I fly with my left stick so uh, you have to do set up the mixing on your radio it depends upon whatever brand you have so that when you give a up elevator so when you give a up elevator both elevons should move up. so i pull the stick back that is up that uh, the elevon should move up uh, use the given throw gauge which is an 8 degree gauge to set the throw so align align the throw gauge so that it is uh, flush on the wing and then you give full control input and it should be uh, almost as close to the throw gauge as possible So this is the up elevator. Down elevator means when you push down the stick. So when you give down, both elevons should move down. Now uh, you can uh, just make sure that it goes. Both elevons move down uh, symmetrically. Uh, the next is when you give a left elevator command. So when we give a left elevator command, the left panels. Uh, elevon goes up and the right panels elevon goes down 
this is very important again you can use the throw gauge to ensure that the up going elevon is uh, goes up by about 10 degrees when you give a right elevon right aileron command the right uh, the right wing panels elevon goes up and the left ones go down so be sure that uh, this is all properly uh, configured in your radio you number one one of the very important uh, causes of the flying wing not flying good is that you set up too much of elevon it only needs 8 degrees of uh, throw and uh, use the gauge uh, to set the throws so that is there and very important is the cg so uh, we have adjusted the battery location slightly we have moved it as far forward as possible so that uh, the cg location is 13 cm from this tip so if we measure with the ruler so we put the ruler and at this point it is 13 cm 130 mm so just a little just ahead of the spar it depends if you put the spar at uh, 13 mm 130 mm then your cg will be at the spar so but the point is that from this tip from this tip you have to go back 130 mm 13 cm and that is where the plane should balance how do you check the balance at that point 13 cm uh, you put your two fingers and try to balance the plane if it balances then it is at the cg is at the right location if you are uh, if you are uh, if you need if your fingers are forward of this position that means you are you need to adjust your uh, weights you need to put your weight in the back to balance uh, the plane you can adjust the battery slightly in the location to get your cg at the right spot if you if, even if uh, with movement of the battery you are not able to set the cg properly then you may have to add a little bit of weight to get the cg but it is very very important that you get the cg at 13 cm mark and your plane balances before you go and fly so check your uh, throws check your cg uh, check that the linkages are tight there is no slop and uh, everything is tight both elevons move symmetrically up and down left and right and that your prop is also mounted properly prop has to be mounted so that the writing on the prop faces the nose i can uh, i can feel the writing on this uh, prop uh, the writing on the prop faces the nose of the plane even uh, the the motor is mounted backwards but still the prop has to be mounted so that the writing on the prop faces forward so do whatever you need uh, swap the uh, wires to get the motor rotation proper so that the thrust is given the prop faces the uh, right side and the 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 thrust is towards the front that is all set uh, one more thing you can check before you go and fly is the thrust angle of the motor mount though it is all laser cut and uh, adjusted but still uh, with every build you may you may need to eyeball this motor mount and make sure that it is Uh, very slightly downwards thrusted i mean very slightly downwards tilted about 1 to 2 degrees at the max if uh, it is not the case then you may need to add some washers uh, below the screws to get it right but you do not need uh, this is all properly set up all set then uh, our plane is all ready and we are now um, ready to go to the field and fly this